What is up, my people? You are here. I am here. My name is Arnold, aka Vitamina. This is Kapu Kapu Flow, and you know what? Today I will talk about something that kind of uh, took me out of my training and getting results for a long time. Uh, I was comparing myself to all these great, great players. I was binge watching YouTube for like years and years, and it can help, you know. Having having examples and um, copying, even copying people, that's great. That's how you can start, right? Uh, I've copied my teacher. Maybe if you have a teacher, you can copy your teacher and that's fine. But what I was doing was that I was not tuned in to my own uh, training enough and to my own uh, now. Uh, so I, I could not develop, I could not progress as fast as I could because I was focusing, I was training, 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 and then, then kind of being unsatisfied with, with, with my training, right? And then I, I watched others doing all these cool moves without making the translation of, okay, he does these six really awesome moves, I cannot do that, but I can start with this. And that and I will do that how I will do that is to do this 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 in a period of two or three months you know that's how how I look at it now I know that 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 if you want to progress that's what you need so let me let me give you some awesome tips yeah <laughs> I wish I was um, my teacher is that weird yeah it's weird now let me know let me um, let me tell you this you know what you what you need is uh, you you need to know uh, where you are now, right? If you know the now, and then you can compare yourself with that moment, and that's what I mean with compare yourself with yourself, because then you will notice if you train that there is a progress going on, and you can happy with that. You you can be happy with that. Right, you don't have to be unsatisfied. No, I want to do this, 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 and I cannot. Ah, oh, he, he, she is so good. Um, now focus on what you want to do, what you train, what you would like to train, and then um, acknowledge yourself for your progress. Right? You can make videos of that. You can because uh, sometimes you don't feel it, but if you see yourself on a video, you can actually feel or you, you can actually see the difference. Right, and that that is what I'm doing now. Maybe you've seen the Alu uh, Coluna stuff. Um, sometimes I notice, ah, here I push my leg, here I do this, here I do that, and I see that on video. Right, even though I I'm not there yet, I know I have to do some training, but honestly, I have time. I have all the time in the world. I'm 36, and uh, I will play capoeira my whole life. You know. So I, I take my time to build up my body and to step by step dive into the Aoji Kuluna. When I started Capoeira, that's like 17, 16, 17 years ago. Uh, no, 17 years ago. Then I wanted everything like really bad. You know, I wanted everything really fast and I was impatient and I got a lot of injuries. And if you want to, to continue training Capoeira and I assume let me assume that you want to, right? Uh, when you're 80, is it possible? Do you think you can play capoeira when you're 80? I, I think you can. I think I can, uh, but it depends on now and how I train now, how, how uh, I take care of myself, my body, my, my mind, and my perspective on capoeira, right? You need to really respect the now, and it includes uh, injuries, this includes um, your your natural body shape and your natural tendency towards certain moves, right? Uh, or would you like to do that special awesome move that 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 feels really awkward, but you really want it for already five years? Hey, if you want that, you can do it. But let me tell you this: if you focus on the ten things that fits you. Uh, the flow things, your foundation things, uh, do you point your foot with a martello or not, uh, how you enter armada, do you step in, out, how you apply spins, 
Mm, which defenses are for you? Um, are you easily on the floor? Can you can you push up like several times? Um, you know, all are you are you quick? Are you light footed? Or are you a bit more uh, heavy footed? And and are you strong? You know, like all these aspects of you, you can you can use for your benefit, right? And I think the main problem is is that. When we train something, it can be capoeira, it can be something completely different. But if we do something, naturally we want to aim, when we are here, we, we aim for this, right? And setting goals is important. Uh, yet, when you are here and embracing all the skills and talents and um, fun that you can have here with techniques, moves, you can, you can even let this grow and you can rise above your, your goal here, right? But in a different way. And this helps me a lot, a lot, a lot to know what you want, to know um, you basically, you know, and this is in, well, it's kind of deep-ish, even though we're talking about a, um, like a physical level, mainly physical level. Uh, but also you can look at this, compare you with you from a uh, mental and, and uh, let's say life perspective. Do you do what you want or do you do what somebody else wants, right? Um, in, in Capoeira, in a group, if, if you don't know what, what, you, what your style is, what your preferences are, if you just started, well, then you just do what, what your teacher does. But there will be a moment that you feel like, oh no, I, I kind of want this, I kind of want that. And then you can focus on this even when you train with your teacher, with your group, mm, you have some specialties, right? And this discovery of what you want, what fits you, for me, that is magic. And uh, what really helps is to compare yourself with yourself, you know? Give yourself a thumbs up a tap on the shoulder and, and be proud on yourself, you know, just for that you practice capoeira, that you've started. Uh, maybe you're not, you're not 20 years old or 15 years old anymore, but you do capoeira, you know, and that's, I think that's already, it's, it's awesome, right? So, um, yeah, that's what I do. If I compare myself now with myself last week, now I'm feeling better. I feel happier and more zen. How do I do that? Zen. Ha! That's it. Yeah, so let me know what you think of this and, and if you also have the tendency to compare yourself with others and maybe in Capoeira, maybe in your life, maybe uh, on other parts. Are there more parts of life? Um, I don't know. Yeah, kids. Uh, that's... If you compare your kids with other kids, that's killing. You should stop doing that, but that's a different video. But stop comparing yourself or your child with somebody else because you are not somebody else. Your child is not somebody else. You need to be compared with you and your kid with him or herself. I have said it. I have said it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that. You will help yourself. You will help me and this uh, couple community. Let's grow it. Let's put it with some love. That's no ang English. Let's add some love to this, yeah? Uh, improve, connect, and play. My name is Arnold, aka Vitamina. See you in the next video. Brrr, da, da, da. Ciao.